And tonight, as always, this course, uh, this free crash course is being brought to you by LW Pharmacy School. We are uh, excited to help you guys as you push through and get started um, with your testing or with your studying. If you haven't already started studying, this will definitely give you that jump shot or jump start that you've been looking for. Um, and so this free crash course is brought to you every second Monday of the month um, at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Tonight, we're gonna talk about the immune system, drugs that are used to treat the immune system. We're gonna talk about suffixes, uh, route to bad men, and then MOA, and then we'll open it up for questions and answers. Um, one of the things that I wanted to share with you all is sometimes when you are studying for this particular exam, you are trying to study all two, 200 drugs at one time. Um, and that just hasn't been really successful for a lot of people. And I don't want you to get overwhelmed, like trying to remember all top 200 drugs all at once because that is not gonna work. And you know, there's a better way to do it. So what I've done is I've broken the drugs down by their systems that they treat. So tonight we're gonna talk about the conditions of the immune system. Um, and then, you know, on the, if this works for you guys, then on the next video, we could possibly talk about, um, you know, another body system that is being treated by a particular set of drugs. Okay, I want to talk about some of the conditions that are used or that uh, happens to the actual condition, sorry, actual immune system. So, um, these, of course, this is not all of the conditions that affect the immune system, okay? Bear with me. I only have 45 minutes here. I don't have time to list everything. However, these are some of the conditions. These are more of the more common conditions um, that you will hear about. And I'm sure there are more common conditions, but these are the ones that we're gonna talk about tonight, okay? So um, again, this is your free crash course for April 2020, brought to you by LW Pharmacy School. And we're gonna talk about the conditions of the immune system. The urinary tract infection, which is also known as a UTI, um, ear infections, lower respiratory infection, abscess, like a tooth abscess, right? Pneumonia, uh, respiratory infection. So you have lower respiratory, respiratory, then you have the upper respiratory. Um, acne, bronchitis, walking pneumonia, chlamydia, the pulmonary inf infections, uh, HIV, herpes, chicken pox, and then the big baby right now that we're all, you know, praying against uh, is COVID-19. Okay, um, they're still trying to figure that one out, but it definitely uh, affects the immune system. Okay, um, look at what I did. Oh my God. So we're in a different world right now. We're in a different time. And I just thought that I would do something different to help my friends. So what I've done is I put together this chart. And if this is helpful, um, please let me know because I will do it for everyone. And then what I, I can do is give you a, uh, a template where you can download and you could create your own chart. Um, and what I'll do is just kind of leave the, the title, the indication, side effects, drug name, special consideration, and then you can use your top 200 drug list and you can fill it in. Uh, but I thought this is the coolest thing. Like, I'm going to tell you how I'm feeling myself in quarantine right now. Okay. Yes. Um, so I really think that this is going to help you. Let's get into it. Okay. Um, if you don't know what this is, I'm going to share it with you. This is the top 200 template that I've created and I've broken it down by the system. So this system is going to be, or this particular chart is going to be used to treat the immune system. Um, here is the classification of the drug. And then right here, I'll put the words down. Yes, I did. And then this is the indication. So what is this particular class of medication used to treat? Then we got the side effects, nausea and vomiting. And then we got the drug names, generic and brand, and then special consideration, avoid sunlight, drink lots of water, and that sort of thing. I thought that this was like super duper cool. And I really think that this is going to help you to remember your drugs. Okay. And it just kind of puts everything into perspective for you. So you can see it. I think that when it's not mumble jumbled into the chapters, it's gonna be easier to remember, okay? So let's go through it. Um, sulfinamide, okay? So the stem word for sulfinamide is sulfa, okay? The stem word for sulfinamide is sulfa. 
Um, the indications for this particular drug is used for UTIs, ear infections, and lower respiratory infections. Okay, and then we also have uh, side effects. Okay, so the side effects that is used to treat is nausea and vomiting. Sorry, not the side effects that is used to treat. The side effects that come from the drug is nausea and vomiting. Now, I'm going to tell you that there were a lot more side effects that were listed underneath this particular class of uh, medication. What I tell my friends who come and we work together one-on-one, -on -one, I always tell them, pick side effects that you can remember. Pick things that you can actually remember instead of trying to pick these big, crazy side effects that you don't even really know what they do, and then they're hard to remember. If you can pick something that is familiar to you, something that you can relate to or connect to, it's going to be easier for you to remember, okay? Uh, the generics are here. I'm not going to butcher those names tonight. You're not going to even get me caught up in that. Uh, but what I did do is I highlighted them in bold because I wanted you to see the what? The word play. Okay. Um, what I realized I did leave out was the, uh, if it's an antibiotic or whatever, and all of these are antibiotics, and I don't even think I put that on here. Um, I just was too excited. So uh, I can go back and add that later before. Um, or in, probably in my description. But so Finamize is an antibiotic um, and Bactrim is the brand for this one. Um, and then you see the brand here, another brand, and you see Sofa. So when you think about Sofinamize, think about Sofa, like Sofa 8. So if you actually see a drug that starts with Sofa, um, then you know it's an antibiotic and it's used to treat urinary tract infections ear infections, and lower respiratory infections, okay? Um, when a person is taking this particular drug, they want to make sure that they avoid sunlight and that they drink lots of water, okay? To my friends, I cannot see you all, so if this looks fun and this looks cool and if you can already kind of like see yourself using this, please drop something in the chat and give me some encouragement right now so I can know this is working for you. Um, the next one is penicillin. Okay, so psyllin is going to be the ending for this particular drug or class, classification. And um, the indication is abscess. It also used to treat, to treat pneumonia and then respiratory infection. Okay, the side effect here is diarrhea and hives. Um, hives is pretty, you know, it's something that you've seen before. Um, thank you. Thank you for saying something. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. I, I like that. I just need a little feedback. Everybody needs a little encouragement sometimes, okay? Um, and so this particular one, I picked diarrhea and hives because it's something that everybody can remember. You know, for the most part, everyone is, you know, have either seen diarrhea or hives on somebody or have, have had it or whatever. So I just felt like it was easy for you to remember. Amoxicillin is the generic and Amoxil is the brand. Um, I just got word the other day that Amoxil is no longer being manufactured. Um, some of you all in the pharmacy may see it on your shelf, but I have just got word that it's no longer uh, being manufactured, okay? So I did list it just because, but it's a, you know, it's a possibility that they no longer create it. Um, then we have Amoxicillin clavate, which is Augmentin, and then we have Amphicillin, which is Omnipen. If you look, you'll see psyllin and psyllin is here, okay? That's a really easy one. And again, you know, we're gonna take this step by step. I wanted to make sure that what I was doing was something that was even relevant to what we're, to what we're dealing with right now. And everybody is talking about how we need to build our immune system to keep from getting the COVID-19 and all of that. And so I thought that this was really great, a great way to kind of uh, tell you about the immune system as well as trying to build it. And I got a, like a little tip down at the bottom um, as we go through the slide that you'll see that can help build the uh, immune system. Um, special considerations with penicillin, it says to take on an empty stomach with water, with water. So you cannot take this drug with soda, or juice, penicillin, any cillins, no soda or juice. Make sure that it is taken with water. Mm -hmm. Y'all probably didn't even know that, okay? Cephalosporin, ceph, cephalosporin, okay? Let's look over here. Cephalosporin is also an antibiotic, um, typically, you know, used for dental work, pneumonia, and upper respiratory infection. 
Do y'all see like this correlation that's happening? Come on, I know y'all see this. Okay, I'm telling you, this is this is going to uh, really help you. What a night! I know that this is only the beginning of a brand new story, and this is something that we're going to remember five and ten years from now. How we all made history. Keep your